Hello and very warm welcome to Raflimps. This is Farooq Hossain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can add Koha multiple instances within one server machine. But before we move on, let us understand what does it mean by multiple instances. So, uh, three months ago, one of my subscriber asked me, there are 10 departments in our university. Can Koha login provide a username and password for each institution? Similar and very recently, I received this email. Please, I need guide assistance on how to set and configure multiple opaque interfaces for my branch libraries in Koha such that patrons and staff can access why their unique branch URL but under one Koha installation. Another email I received, are you also able to install Koha multiple instances with one instance per subdomain? So thank you very much for your kind comments and emails and this video is for you. But what I prefer your comments in the comment section of my videos. So let's move on. I try to explain with one example. Suppose you have one Ubuntu server or Debian server or cloud system or just a PC and you want to install Koha within that server machine for one institution with separate staff interface and the OPAC. That's quite easy. You can easily do that. Either it's Ubuntu, either it's Debian and the videos are available on my channel so you can watch them. How you can install Koha on Ubuntu, how you can install Koha on Debian. So you can easily uh, install Koha for one institution with separate staff interface and the separate OPAC. But, but let's suppose you want to install Koha for second institution within same server machine with separate staff interface and the separate OPAC. And then you have another institution and the fourth institution, fifth institution, sixth institution, and so on. I'm not talking about the branches. I'm talking about the separate staff interface. So in that case, what you will do? You have to work on multiple instances. So let's try to install multiple Koha instances. So let me open my server machine. So here's my server machine where I have already installed Koha. It's Ubuntu 20.04 where I have installed Koha 21.11. So let me log in here. And after login, let me show you where I have installed Koha. So you can see this on the port 8001, we have a staff interface. And at port 8000, we have OPAC. So you can also use localhost instead of this address. This is similar to localhost. And uh, there's no other port is in use. So 8002 is empty. 8003 is also available. 8004 is also available. 8005 is also available. So now what we are going to do, we are going to add two more instances here. So what we need to do, the very first thing we need to add ports in Apache ports configuration file. So let us open this file. Copy. And we need to open terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and we need to write sudo su to activate the admin mode and the password of your system. And then the command.
So as you can see this, it's sudo is just to confirm the admin mode. And then gedit, gedit is actually the editor of Ubuntu and etc is one of the directory. In this directory, we have Apache 2 directory. I mean, this is one of the folder. And in this folder, you will find Apache 2 folder. And in Apache 2 folder, this file exists. So it's ports.conf configuration file. So let us open this file and add two more or four more ports here. If we want to add one instance with separate staff interface and separate uh, OPAC, so we just need to add two ports here. So we have 8002 and 8003. So we will write listen 8002 and 8003 for one instance. If, for example, we need to add two instances, so 8004, 8005, and save this. After doing this, what we need to do we need to restart apache so i copy this file and then after restart apache We need to create the new instance. So this command will work. Sudo Koha create, create database and the database name is library. I think we have already created the library. So let us check. Yeah, library is already exist. So let us create a new database. So let me clear this screen first. So let's suppose reflims one. So it has created okay, okay, and Another database, Raflims2. So it's okay and okay. And after this, okay, after creating the instances, we need to add the Apache site available file for each of the instances. So let me open this reflims one file first. So it's sudo gedit is the editor and etc directory. In this directory, we have Apache 2 directory. In this directory, we have site available directory and we have this file reflims one dot c o n f and there we need to add it the ports so what ports we have defined there for opac we will use 8003 not like this And for staff interface, for intranet, we will use 8002. For our second instance. And save this one, Raflims1. One, and close this. And then Raflims 2. 
see what I'm doing here. Sudo g edit in this. This is actually the editor, and there you can find this directory etc. In etc folder, you have Apache 2 folder. In Apache 2 folder, you have site available folder. In site available folder, you have this file. It's reflims2 and reflims1, or whatever the instance you have, you have to configure the file. Uh, I mean, the Apache site available file there. And similar, what you need to add, we will present the OPAC over there. And, and this is for a staff interface. And save this one and exit here. And now we need to restart Apache once again. Okay, now let us open our web browser once again and let us use this port and this port okay so we need to wait here So as you can see, it's web installer of Koha 21.11 and it's already installed instance. And this is our third, second instance. And this one is our third instance. So let me log in here. To know the password of your second or third instance, you need to use one command. And that's all main database password i mean the master password and we use koha as prefix and the database name that is raflims1 and there we use one command let me clear this it's sudo koha password uh, ref limps one and you can copy this password you can you can save here ref limps one This one and ref limits two. So we have two password here and the password of this, this is our first instance, this one, library. And we have second instance is raflimps1 and the third instance is raflimps2. So let us log in here. Raflimps1 and we need to copy this password and now we are going to install I mean we are going to work on web installer so okay and login 
and this similar pr uh, procedure we need to provide the language and it will check the poll dependencies then database settings then set up database then install basic configuration setting and then onboarding tools it might take few times so let us complete this process i'll show i want to show you the opac as well and similar for this one it's koha ref limits 2 So this way we can create multiple instances within one server machine. So here we have one server machine that is Ubuntu and we have three Koha instances with separate staff interface and separate OPAC. And there we can create multiple branches, multiple libraries and on the second instance and the third instance as well. So let me refresh this. And this is available on 8001. And this one is available on 8002. And the last one is available on 8004. And all are working very fine. So thank you very much for watching Raflims. This is Swaro Hossain. Take care of yourself.